Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing, uh, new to me, uh, Taste of Difference, Sainsbury's Taste of Difference Rye Pale Ale. So obviously it's an American Pale Ale, brewed and bottled by Marston's. So uh, another wave to Marston's, they do a lot of brewing, must be a big brewery. A uh, toasty malt character with tropical and citrus aromas. A russet red rye ale. Try saying that ten times. With complexity and prevalent hop character. A rye crystal malt brings a complex toasty character to this hop laden russet ale. Summit and cascade hops overlay fruit and citrus dry hopping with citra and amarillo hops. Adds tropical and subtle orange flavours. A long, nutty finish follows with a suggestion of spice. So, sounds fantastic. Let's give it a pour. So, I'm in the uh, front room tonight looking after my grandson. Until, how old is he now? Five months? Yeah. And, um, I had a bang in the kitchen. What the bloody hell was that? Walks into the kitchen, can't see anything. All of a sudden, I see dripping below the beer shelves. And I'm thinking, what's going on here? And there we have it. Uh, a bottle of Tiger beer had exploded. Uh, the bottle just cracked and gone in the middle. Never had that before. Not from a commercial beer, anyway. And Tiger's not bottle conditioned, so... Strange. Whether it was out of date, I bought it from my own bargain, so you never know. So... Yeah, red in colour, dark red in colour, uh, white, good white head, can't see any carbonation. Uh, this may not be a good glass for it, to be fair. Oh, I can see lacing around the edge, but I can't see anything in the centre. Oh, definite hops and citrus on the nose straight away, and that's with a bit of a blocked up nose. I wasn't going to do a beer review today because I felt so crap all day. I uh, had some issues uh, relating to um, some personal stuff and uh, the anxiety. Uh, if anybody suffers with anxiety out there, the anxiety has been severely intense. So last night, I'm watching the football, Man United, they play crap. Uh, PSV, PS whatever they're called, PSG were okay but they weren't that good. Mbappe though, he's, he's mint. Um, but I'm watching them. Did two beer reviews last night which will probably get uploaded tonight. This one will be uploaded in a couple of days time. And then I did that and I had a glass of wine and I thought I'm not quiet. I need something else just to get me to sleep. So I got some cherry bourbon. Drank two shots of that and bloody hell, slept beautifully. Went to bed, two minutes I was asleep. Woke up by the alarm clock, that's how good. The only problem is, I felt sh rubbish all bloody day. Never doing that again, not on a work night anyway. So yeah, yeah, looks the part. Ooh. Definite hoppiness. And definite nuttiness in the back in the back taste. Wow. Quite um quite an eye opener really. Um wasn't expecting much. I'm not really keen on these rye rye beers and rye ales. Uh, it's, it just seems to be a fad where the, everyone's making them. But good flavour. 4.4%. Um, yeah, some nice flavours from that. So on ratebeer.com it's got 3.25 out of 5 from only 13 ratings. It is new, I've never seen it before. Um 
well new for me anyway. So, what first review, 3.2 out of 5, an attractive deep reddish copper in colour with a frothy off-white head, red fruit, leafy hop and earthy malt aroma. Fairly light bodied flavour with more wheat fruits and some caramel leading to a moderately bitter finish. Fine. 3.4 out of 5. Appearance deep amber to brown, nice off white head, nose, orange and strawberry notes amongst cake generally, some sweet spice. Taste. More sweet spice and fruit, some caramel, palate, medium bodied and rich, fairly good. So, a couple of good, you know. Here's one from November. 3.4 again, pours a deep dark red brown with a beige foam and a spicy tangy nose with hints of orange zest and cocoa. Earthy and spicy bitterness, dry malt and a peppery edge. Pleasantly bittersweet and lightly tangy over a toasty sweet backbone. So yeah, um, positive reviews really. And uh, yeah, quite a nice looking beer really. Oh, I can see the carbonation there. Yes, definitely see the lacing. So, uh, the head's dissipated already, near enough. Oh. Quite quite a good ra range of tastes in it, you know, it's uh, it's a nice beer for what it is. Now obviously the taste of difference range is Sainsbury's premium range of beers. It's probably their only range of beers actually. Um, they do do parking special bitter, which I used to love, but not so much these days. Lots, yeah, there's definitely lots of the fruit in there that it says. And uh, yeah, subtle orange flavours, long nutty, nice bit of spice in it. So it's there, tasty, toasty, taste rather, toasty, malt and rye. I'm not sure what rye tastes like, I mean rye to me is a grass, so... Yeah, definitely toasty with spices. It's one of them beers. There's, there's a, quite a lot going on in there, really. And it's nice, because, you know, it's a new beer, another new beer to me. Getting through these new beers like one of these days. Um, Definitely getting the orange. There's a lot going on with this little fella. Eh? Not quite my cup of tea as a, as a beer, as a beer, to be honest. Um, but I can respect the fact that it's, you know, it's good tasting. Good aroma. Still smell the citrus from there. Uh, lots of difference in the taste. You know, it's something that's going to challenge your taste buds to see if you can get all what everybody else says is in there. It's nice also, it's, it, it tastes uh, more thick on the mouth, whereas I had one last night, uh, a Brooklyn I think it was, and it, it was like water. I mean, I know it is actually water, but it tasted thin. And whereas this doesn't, it tastes decent. Oh, so quite a nice solid effort there from Marston's uh, slash Sainsbury's. Um, good on a nose, good taste, good looking beer. Uh, lots of different tastes coming through. Very interesting beer. Not a top 10 beer for me, if I'm being honest. But, uh, you know, a solid entry. Um, I'm going to give it a 4.2 out of 5. Ah, you know, it's definitely worth trying. If you've never tried it before, definitely um, worth a go. And uh, good on uh, Marston's and Sainsbury's. Thanks for watching. See you soon.